Well, it is time for your email questions, and we've, we're going to begin with All a good right. one. You ready? Okay, go. Okay, Karen writes in, my husband and I have always had a great supportive relationship, and we've always been totally in love. All of a sudden, after 20 years of marriage, my husband seems like he's no longer attracted to me physically or emotionally. Nothing major has changed in our lives, in his appearance or in my appearance. What can we do to get that spark back? Um. I hate to be physical, but you don't need a spark. You need, uh, it's what they call OT. Your husband undoubtedly has come to a point in his life where the uh, testosterone levels are just gone. And as a result, <clears throat> the uh, uh, amorous attraction that was there before just doesn't exist. I mean, he still respects you, loves you, and all the rest of it. But in terms of physical attraction, it is not there. So he needs to go to a... Uh, person who specializes in uh, uh, this particular thing, uh, you can, and, and uh, I'm sure that uh, you, you can get pills they have, you know, for uh, they, they put out uh, testosterone supplements, but that happens and it's, they talk, you know, and guys think, well, I've got to go have an affair with some young chick in order to, you know, get back my, my, uh, Mojo. Mojo, thank you. <laughs> but uh, it's strictly glands. I mean, it's strictly, uh, uh, you know, the, and it's just the way we are. And so it's not that your husband doesn't love you. He loves you very deeply, but uh, he, there's just nothing inside of him that wants to push on. So uh, he, you can get that stuff and cream or something, and, and uh, some, they have shots for it, too. If you go see your doctor. All Amen. right. Amen. All right. Jay says, I'm 13 years old. Ever since I was eight years old, I've known that when I'm old enough, I want to join the Marine Corps. But I have trouble with the commandment, thou shall not kill. How does this commandment play into fighting for our freedoms? All right. Uh, the, the commandment says you shall not commit murder. Murder is the uh, wanton killing of somebody without cause. And, and it's, uh, you know, something right. that uh, is a uh, private matter. Uh, the Bible says, read Romans, it's there very clearly. Uh, he that wields the sword doesn't do it in vain because he's the minister of God to exercise vengeance on the malefactors, on the wrongdoers. We have to have a police force. We have to have military. We have to have some type of force to put down those who are bad guys. And uh, if in the process some of the bad guys get shot, well, that's too bad. So don't don't feel in any way that that's violating any commandment. It's not, and uh, as a, as a marine, I say there's no such thing as a former marine as a marine. We welcome you to the Corps, young man, and Semper Fi. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, <coughs> Helen writes in. I'm a woman, and I feel like I'm being bullied by male ministers and my male landlord. How do I handle these situations? Look, I hate to tell you, but if people think they can take advantage of you, they will. Uh, it's just the way it is. And if you're a little tougher, they won't. So uh, you need to um, stand up for yourself and uh, just d don't let them push you around. That's what it amounts to. There are a lot of women who are just doormats and they have grown up very submissive and they just do what anybody tells them to do. And as a result, they don't have any freedom at all. Uh, you, the Bible says you should love your neighbor as you love yourself. And you do have to have a certain pride and, and self-worth. So assert yourself and you don't have to be bullied. If you need some help, go to a pastor who can help you. Hmm. Uh, if there is one that will take your side. Don't be a doormat. Don't advice. be a doormat. We're on your side.